Hey everyone, this is Prince Watercrest, and welcome back to Let's Play Kirby Superstar for the Super Nintendo Entertainment System. And we are still in stage, or section four, of the Great Cave Offensive. I thought I was in every room in that little cloud maze. Nope. There's one I missed. First of all, I want to get a pair of a parasol Waddle Dee because I'm not going to be needing him for anything. Also kind of figured out what I need to do for the one room where I have the break of block above my head. And I'm surprised I never even thought about this because it's been so long since I've, since, you know, I've played this game and I still remember a lot of stuff from memory, but... It, this will evolve a technique that I forgot completely about. First off, we need to... What was in here again? Okay. I need to make sure I need to make sure I was in that room and sure enough I was in that room. But I believe it was this room that I was in. Not this room either. Okay. It's somewhere. It's this room. What I need to do is create a helper. And I need him to be above me. Does it have to be any single one? Um, dude. Okay, you know what? You're not cooperating. So, you're getting replaced. With probably... Yeah, you, you're getting replaced with Plasma, probably. And if that doesn't work, I'm going to use Wing. I need somebody who will follow me around. You will follow me around. That's what you want to do. You want to leap off a helper's head in midair so you can break the block with a super jump. With a team super jump. And that's how you get the 600,000 gold shiny bamboo. But wait, there's more! Turns out there was one room I didn't go into. And I believe it is right over here. I think. Is this it? This is it. Grr! First off, I'm going to show off Wheelie Rider because we need him for this. With a partner or alone, Wheelie Rider will be a great ride. When riding double, use teamwork to race past the bad guys. Y to dash, B to jump, left to right to turn, and press A or up and B to get off the bike. So we hit. We need to hit this switch. I said we need to hit this switch! And we need to jump so we can get over there. And you also want to be able to not hit the ramp because if you hit the ramp, you're hitting the wall. This one may take me a few tries. That's not what I wanted. I probably need to be a little closer to the wallets. No! Wheelie, stop! Okay. Yeah, do not be on the slope at the beginning, otherwise you're going to jump clear over the switch. That's what I wanted to do. Can I get off, please? Thank you! Have the hole left for more or right for more than usual so I can finally get off and get the tire. For Pete's sake, no, we're 33 or we're 54 for 54, so we're pretty much done here. Oh, and uh, I kind of lightly touched on this during the ending for Revenge of Meta Knight, but if you are playing with a second player and you're playing as Willy Rider, second player can 
hold the control stick to aim and press Y to fire star bullets. Also, how in the world can Wheelie Rider not get on the warp, warp star? That's... That's odd. That is super odd. But we're not going to need you for anything anymore. I'm going to save this in case something goes strangely wrong. And then we are going to go in here for the middle door. We got ourselves quite a few out. We got ourselves quite a few things to cut. We don't want to cut that one. We need to find a door and respawn all of these things. There's also a Max of the Mato right there. Let's not go through this door yet. Instead, we're going to cut all these except for the second to last. Because we cut the second to last, we're not going to be able to get that treasure box unless we go through a door and reset all the things. Okay, I got I got rid of you. You are out of the picture. I hope I'm not blocking anything. Well, I blocked the one up, but I didn't block that. Thankfully, we can get the platinum ring. We can go to the left door. And we can just get that one up if we so want to. Because we've already gotten both of the treasures in this room. So, when it comes to finding the treasure, do not cut the second string. Do not cut the fourth. Otherwise, you're going to have to go through a door and respawn everything. Just reset the entire room. Now that that is out of the way, we can do things in this little area. And you want to be very careful. I am going to float every time I go down. Because if I don't, I'm going to be sent all the way back down to the, or rather all the way back up to the top of this area, and I would have to do this all over again. Now, there we go. We got the Triforce, which is worth 800000 Apparently you can put a price on the Triforce. And now we can get in here. That should take me to... Oh, that's the end. Okay. Let's go up and take the right door. I did not know that would take me to the end. I had to check my treasures just to make sure, but the treasure is the... Uh, is the, uh, the, the, the treasure. The Triforce is the final treasure in the game. And once you pick that up, you know you're nearing the end. We need to go in here. And there is a Maximum Tomato if we so need it. Just go down and left. We should be able to pick it up. And if we go into this little corner, we get the Pegasus Wing, which I do want. And I should probably wait before I press X again. Okay, 55. We have three more treasures to go, and we'll finally have everything in the game. Or the mini game. Wow, these scenes can be pretty fast. Okay. There's where I wanted to go. Nice little downward corridor here. There is an enemy that I can beat up. I'm just going to beat him up with Cutter. I probably would be doing a much better faster fight if I was using something other than Cutter, like maybe fighting this guy without an ability. Like, e this will do even, that would do even more damage than Cutter. And now I can finally get rid of you, get this treasure, and receive the Raccoon Doll. Now that I look at this, I'm suddenly reminded of the raccoon that Marin, not Marin, but Taryn, turns into 
in the Lost Woods in Link's Awakening. That has to be what that is a reference to. I can't imagine it being anything else. And why are you all trying to destroy me in just one fell swoop? Wow. Hey, chicken. And that wasn't enough to save me from death by bear. Okay. We need to get all the way back in there again. We've already gotten the treasure. And wow, these guys do not like the cannon at all. Because if I come out of them, they go absolutely berserk. Also, I need to go over here. Ah, come on. I have more luck with the Donkey Kong Country barrel cannons than I do these. That's incredible. And I just killed you. How did you respawn? Well, no matter. We're going to be able to fight this guy off faster anyway. Wait for you to do the dash. Come on, send the bugs after me. There we go. Do two hits worth of damage for a load of damage. And in case that misses... Ah! Uh, why can't I just slide into you and just do the last bit of damage I need that way? There we go. Now, to ensure... I'm just going to... Slam my way... And just... Grab everything, just... Slam my way down the... Slope there. Get a cup of coffee, because why not? Something tells me I may need be needing some of these enemies for later. For now, I am going to throw you into the water. Look down around here. Find this. This will open up a little path to here. Everything will dot in here will die except for the Gordo. And we can get the Shell Whistle. We are getting so close to the end of this now. I can just feel it. And what are we doing? We just have one more treasure left. Nice! Okay. Also, what was up here? Nothing. I don't even know why I have suplex at this point. I guess I might as well keep it. Just keep it around for such... For just in case. And what do I have to do to get in here? Oh, I see. I... Really? Uh, I have to go through all this again. Can you... Why can't this game give me a checkpoint? Seriously, that is... Ridiculous. If you die, you have to make a lot of progress to get back to where you were. I mean, at least I know what to do here. But at this point... I'd rather just not deal with any of it. Can he grab me while he does this? Okay, I... He can't hit me in that way. Okay. As long as I'm not turning, it shouldn't be too bad. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my willpower up. Get back in the door. I'm going to consume you. Because I know what I need to do to get to that one area. Come on. I can't even do this right. Wow. But we will go over here. I, I swear, if you jump right into me. 
There we go. Not the prettiest way of doing that, but I made it work. And we got the Horror Halkin, which is the final treasure I need for this game. There's the Warp Star. I don't want that yet. Instead, I kind of want to get the Max and the Mato, so that way I don't die. And I want to see if I can get that. So we have 9 million... Nine 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 zero. Okay, so we have nine million nine hundred ninety nine thousand nine hundred ninety gold. I just now realized that seven digits. And I'm going to hit this one more time. So I can hit the switch, get myself a little bit of a shortcut here. And we now have all of the treasure. Ori Hawken was the last one we grabbed. And we can finally go into the door in the middle. But first, I want to save it. Just because. And then go into the center door. Once we get the center door, this should be over and done with. All right, we are now ending this bad boy once and for all. I'm going to grab a yo-yo just in case. Oh, that was the last of the enemies. We can just go in here now. And we can get any power we wish, though I'm not going to use any powers for this battle because I do want to show off how to fight this final boss for this minigame without an ability. Introducing Wham Bam Rock. You want to avoid that fist drop. Whenever it occurs. And when he snaps his fingers like that, you want to grab a rock. You just want to... You want to get swallow, inhale a rock and smash it into him. When he does that grasp, you want to stay out of the way, and then you want to stay away from the side so that way you don't get punched, and you want to go in the air too. He then causes his fingers to fall fall off, and you want to grab a rock when he does that. He'll then do a triple fist drop, one right, one middle, one left, and you want to stay away from that because if he runs into you that way, he will kick you into the wall and you will get hit, he'll do the grab again, then he'll do the punch from the side followed by this again at this point you should kind of know what to do and of course you don't want to be too close when he opens his hand sometimes this attack moves sometimes it doesn't and the second time he does this the rocks come back up from the ground and they return to his hand and I died there I can do this though. This isn't too hard, thankfully. I still remember a few things despite playing this without any practice runs, so. This should be fun. Okay. Also, you can s swallow one of the rocks that he creates to get the stone ability. You can hit him with it that way. I choose not to, though, for the purposes of this battle for this Let's Play. Okay. Yeah, the first time around, he stays in place, and the rocks don't come back up. The second time around, he does move, and they do come back up. So there's a bit of a sequence to this, but it's actually pretty easy for me to, for me to remember, at least. Your mileage may vary with remembering all the things that he does and when he does them. And that was a really harrowing time to do that. 
Also, I should have stayed to the left the whole time. Maybe I wouldn't have lost that life. Ow. Ow. Okay, so now he starts smacking the floor three times, and then he does that one more time. Waiting for him to stop doing this. He does it a little longer that time. There we go. We destroyed his hand. We destroyed Wham Bam Rock. That actually is his name, by the way. And we can finally go through this door. Grab a Max and Tomato that we're going to need, have no need for. And take this minecart all the way to the end. And if we can just go up those little slopes, we can finally go up into this door. And we're taking a huge lift all the way up. And this should look familiar. We're back over here. Sadly, we cannot go back to section one, but we finally have the warp star. We are finally finished with the Great Cave Offensive with all 50 treasures collected. We did it. I died way more times than I should have in this minigame. Minigame feels kind of like a misnomer. This feels like its own thing. This really feels like its own game. Like... These days, somebody could make this game in a couple of weeks. And it'd probably be available for download for probably $5. Maybe. I can't imagine it being going anywhere for over $5. But, we are now seeing Kirby fly away after getting all of those riches. We see every single treasure we collected, as well as how much each one is worth. And as we go through the treasure list, we get to see Kirby fly around, and if you do it for long enough, you will see him fly around in the air just like that. Not really, really sure why Kirby is flying around in the air other than to celebrate being free from that huge underground chasm. We were in there for quite a while. We spent five videos playing this, believe it or not. So, this is probably my favorite of the games you can play on Kirby Superstar. Just because of all the exploring you can do, all the treasures you can pick up. This really feels like it should have been its own game. This really does. Don't know what else to say about this, to be honest, but I do recommend playing the Great Cave Offensive and trying to find all 60 treasures yourself. It's incredible. And if you collected all 60 treasures, you get this screen at the very end. You get to see Kirby with all the treasure, the treasure glistens and sparkles and whatnot. And you can go back to the game select screen by pressing start. And you finally get Milky Way Wishes. Oh boy. This is probably going to be the... Cr the huh, what ad adjective can I use to describe this? I don't think any will work. But this is definitely going to be the most interesting one. And we're going to tackle Milky Way Wishes in the next video. So, join me next time, where we start off Milky Way Wishes. Until then, this is Prince Watercress. Take care. 
stay safe, and thanks for watching!